Hello guys. I am here with a brand new Fusion plugin which can emulate the CRT television effect inside DaVinci Resolve. I hope you are excited, let's start the tutorial. So here we are in the Fusion page with the footage downloaded from Pexels.com. Let's apply the CRT effect to this footage. Just open the node menu and search for Super CRT. This is the plugin which you have installed. Add this fuse node and then connect the node with the footage. I hope everyone knows this basic connection of nodes. You can see that the effect is applied to the footage. This is the effect with the default settings, we can change many parameters in this plugin and get our desired results. I will show you all the parameters of this fuse which are very easy to understand. The first parameter is the pixel size, you can change the value to get bigger pixels on the screen. The second option is the screen technology. There are two types of common CRT screen, that is aperture grill and shadow mask. You can see the variation of the pixel arrangement of both. Shadow mask gives a more detailed picture than aperture grill. Before showing the next parameters, let me resize the footage to a more square shaped image, so that it matches the old television screen ratio, we can do this by adding a resize node. You can change the width and height easily with this node. This is looking better. Let's see the next parameters of the plugin. The next parameter we have is the brightness which is simply the overall brightness of the CRT tube. Then we have the glow parameter, we can simply change the glow amount with this. Then we have the posterize slider, this can help you to reduce the number of colors on the screen. You can see that it can also give you some great retro effects. Next we have the static parameter, this helps you to add some grain effect. You can also animate all these parameters to make it more realistic. We also have the vignette slider which helps you to reduce the brightness around the edges of the screen. You can also change the corner radius and edge thickness. Then we have the chroma slider which helps you to add chromatic aberration in the scene. You can also add blinking flickers on the screen by changing the flicker strength. The rate of the flickers can also be adjusted. The next most important thing is the scan lines, we can easily add scan lines in our CRT footage by adjusting the scan line parameters. We can change the scan line strength, scan line frequency, and scan line speed. You can see that this scan line is very different from other scan line effects. The last but not the least, we have the screen distance parameter. This will help you to get a better viewing angle of the screen. So that's all about the plugin parameters and options. Let me show you another special fuse which can take your footage to the next level. We have a plugin called Super NTSC which is like the brother of Super CRT. I will add the Super NTSC and show you the result it can give. You can use this plugin to get more VHS effect. You can also add more elements in the scene like this text. So this was all about my new plugin, I hope you like this tutorial, please like share and subscribe.